Hello everybody. Today we're going to take a look at how to get the licensing inventory from your Unified Communications Manager systems. We're going to look at both how to get the installed licenses and the available licenses as well as the consumed licenses. Let's dive in and check it out. On screen here I have a Unified Communications Manager uh, opened in my web browser. I simply just type the IP address of the system in the browser. This is a uh, 11.5 system and this is something pretty much like what you're going to see on a system you know 11 5 and older in 12.0 and newer I'll actually show you that in a moment the experience is going to be a little bit different so anyway on our 11.5 system this is the publisher and I can see here that I have prime licensing manager running on this system so I will go ahead and launch that I'm going to then log in with admin credentials and we'll be greeted with the licensing prime licensing manager screen to get the inventory the easiest way is to go to licensing and usage here you can see the licensing usage we see the licenses that are installed cool professional cool standard standard uh, enhanced and telepresence room licenses. We see what version they are, 11.x. Uh, we can view the same information in the form of a chart. Uh, either way, this is your licensing inventory. So if you're working with someone, a Cisco representative or a Cisco partner that needs this information uh, and they say, send me your prime licensing manager output, this is where you would go to get this. You could simply, you know, copy, take a screenshot, etc and pass this information along. For Unified Communications Manager 12.0 and later, Cisco actually requires a smart account for Unified Communications Manager licensing. To check your licensing or your installed licensing or purchased licensing inventory, uh, simply go to software.cisco.com, ensure you are logged in, Come over to the right hand side of the screen under the licensing section right here with the uh, the lock. Uh, we want to look for the, uh, in, at this point, the second option that says smart software licensing. Go ahead and click that. You will be brought into the smart licensing uh, section of the website. As you can see, I have my virtual account loaded up here. You do want to make sure you're on the inventory tab. I think by default, if there are alerts, it will land on the alerts tab, uh, the inventory tab. Uh, and then under the inventory tab, there's a general tab and a licenses tab. You certainly uh, can poke around here, but uh, you want to choose licenses. And then scroll to the, you know, scroll through the, the options. You may have to expand a little bit to ensure you get them all on the screen. In my case, I have my UC licenses down here at the bottom. And I, you can see I have, uh, what do I have? 70 cool licenses installed. I have UC manager enhanced licenses. I actually don't have any of those, but I have one being borrowed from the tier above. I have telepresence room licenses and some uh, enhanced messaging user licenses as well. So this is uh, a great way to get the inventory of these licenses. If you would like to actually see this information on the system as well, you can log in uh, with your general administrative credentials. Come to System, navigate down to the bottom to License Management. Go ahead and click that. You will see some information similar to the Smart Licensing Portal. Uh, you'll see your smart account information at the top. In the bottom section here, the license requirements by type, you'll actually see the consumption of licenses. Uh, now, just uh, one thing to be aware of, if you have multiple systems in your environment uh, and you're using the same smart account for those systems, sometimes there can be discrepancies here, but uh, in, in many cases, they will be, uh, the information reflected will be the same. Um, Ultimately, the smart account portal is the master record. Uh, however, sometimes it's more convenient to check into consumption of licenses on the system itself. Hopefully that has been a helpful look at how to get the uh, inventory of consumed licenses on your Unified Communications Manager system. Uh, if you have questions, comments, 
uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Hopefully you found this helpful. We'd love to have you subscribe and come back and see our, our upcoming videos. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.